Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully repair Windows 8 if you're stuck in a boot loop, black screen, acting very slow, etc. So, this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial and let's just jump right into it. So, the situation is we want to get to the automatic repair utility. Two ways to do it. So I would suggest trying to do a hard power off three times in a row to get your computer to automatically launch into the Diagnosing Your PC screen, which should take you to the Automatic Repair Utility Options. Now if that does not work and doesn't automatically load into it, I will have a link in the description of the video for the Windows 8 Media Creation Tool. It will allow you to download an ISO file directly from Microsoft's website and then just boot your computer to it. And then as you're going through the install process, quote unquote, after you get through the initial keyboard setup, you want to select repair my computer or repair a computer in the bottom left corner of the dialog window. And all the troubleshooting options I'm going to show you guys in this tutorial are going to be coming from that. So as you can see on my boot menu, in my situation, I've already burned my ISO to a DVD. And from the boot menu here, I'm going to go down and select CD-ROM drive. Might be a little bit different in your case, you're going to have to look up your specific computer information. Motherboard information will definitely have an impact what key to press in order to boot into the boot menu. In my case it's my escape key, but it could be F2, F8, or even F12 key, it really depends. And again, that's the function key on the top of your keyboard. Might be different, I would suggest looking into your specific computer information on Google, just type it in. A lot of different options out there. So I'm going to select CD-ROM drive to boot off of my Windows 8 DVD here. I'm going to press any key to boot. That's what I'm going to do. And in this situation, assuming you were unable to do a hard power off three times in a row, I'm booting from the DVD, so just to give you guys an idea of what to expect and exactly what prompts you need to select in order to get to the recovery option menu. Okay, so from the Windows Setup screen here, again, set up your language install, time and currency, keyboard format, select Next. Now, instead of left-clicking on Install Now, you want to left-click on Repair Your Computer in the bottom left corner of the screen. So left-click on that one time, and this should launch our recovery options. And if you did a hard power off three times in a row, there's a chance you'd be able to get to this screen as well. So from this screen, you want to left-click on Troubleshoot, Refresh, or Reset Your PC or use advanced tools, so left click on that. Now from the troubleshoot menu, we're already brought forward with a couple different options we can select from right from the bat. First one would be to refresh your PC, which if your PC isn't running well, you can refresh it without losing your files. So if you left click on that, choose the target operating system, it would go about refreshing your computer. So it says it wouldn't lose any files, however, I would read up a little bit more in documentation about exactly what it is and what is not removing. You can see what will happen. Your files and personalization settings won't change. Your PC settings will change to their default settings. Apps from Windows Store will be kept. Apps you installed from disk or websites will be removed. So pretty much any programs you guys have installed will be removed even if you refresh your PC. And a list of the remove apps will be saved to your desktop. So I'm going to actually cancel out of that. I'm going to go back in the troubleshooting menu, which is where it takes us. So another option on the main page here for troubleshooting, it says reset your PC, which the difference is it actually will remove all your files and it's going to really do a clean, fresh sweep. Really not trying to save any data in that case, but that is usually a pretty good option if you just want to start fresh and you really had nowhere else to go. Unfortunately, that's just kind of how it ends up sometimes. Another thing you try to be going underneath advanced options here. This is where we have a whole plethora of different options we can go ahead and choose from. So underneath advanced options, the first thing I would suggest would be to select system restore. Use the restore point recorded on your PC to restore Windows. So I'll click on that and then I'm going to select the target operating system. So if you do have any restore points, it should hopefully pick them up here. So I select next. You can actually see I do have a restore point. I would suggest going ahead, left clicking on next, and then just following along the on-screen prompts. I do notice that does seem to have a good amount of success, especially if you do have restore points on your computer. 
definitely try that first. It's probably a good shot that you're going to be able to get back to a pretty normal state. So hopefully that would be able to work for you. So that's probably one of the primary methods I would suggest trying right off the bat. So if you're still having problems, let me uh, cancel out of here. Go back into troubleshooting, advanced options. If you had any system images backed up, so system image backup, you can just select system image recovery here. Select the target operating system. So assuming you already had something backed up to a DVD or a CD, you could go ahead and select this. Most people probably don't, so I'm not going to spend too much time focusing on that. Another thing I would suggest would be to select start or prepare, which should hopefully be able to find and fix problems to keep Windows from loading. It does take some time to run that, so you just really want to be patient. Another thing you can try, and I do find that in some of my tutorials, it actually does really help people out. So let's say we did select the system restore option. You could do different order. It really doesn't matter too much. I do have other videos on my channel. If you have more specific error messages, you might want to go check them out. This is more just of a generic how to repair Windows 8 if it's not turning on. And again, when I say not turning on, I mean that the power is on, it's just it's not booting into Windows. So choose a target operating system. I'm going to select Windows 8. And I'm going to go ahead and next. And then I have the system restore point like I showed you guys earlier. I'm going to select next here. And then I'm going to finish. It's going to say once started, system restore cannot be interrupted. Do you want to continue? System restore cannot be undone until after it has completed. If system restore is being run in safe mode or from the system recovery options menu, it cannot be undone. We are doing this from the system recovery options menu, so just keep that in mind. I'm going to left click on yes. Just give it some time to run. It will take some time. Please be patient.
Okay, it says system restore completed successfully. The system has been restored to this date. Documents have not been affected. Click restart button to restart the computer. I'll off on restart here. Okay, I should say system restore completed successfully. System has not been restored. Documents have not been affected. Left click on close, and hopefully that should be about it. So, I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out, and as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.